What's up guys, this video I'm going to share with you a crazy story that proves the power of frame control which I experienced in middle school. Alright, so this is one of my favorite stories when it comes to the power of frame control. And this is something I experienced very, very early on in life before I even knew what frame control was, right? But there's something that definitely resonated to me and I was like, what the fuck, how's that possible? So make sure you guys watch until the end of the video so you can see what happens. So basically the story goes like this. In middle school we had a group of friends and our favorite activity was making fun of each other. We would play this game where we would make fun of one person until they cry and they would move on to the next person. I know. Kids are the fucking worst. And there was a group of like maybe eight or nine guys. We're all close friends, right? But of course we had our little hierarchy, right? And one of the guys in the group, we'll call him Sam, this is a fake pseudonym, was ahead of us in pretty much every department. He was probably the most active, he was the most popular, he was the first one to get a girlfriend, he was the coolest one, and for some reason, right, no one ever made fun of him. Like, he was always making fun of other people, but when you would make fun of him, he would find a way to turn it around, right? So it was like, you know, we were all getting made fun of, except for him, like, no one could ever make fun of fucking Sam. And it was really annoying, it's like, yo, like, I fucking cried yesterday, you, you know, Johnny cried the day before, but Sam has never cried. And again, I know this is like pretty fucking crazy that, you know, kids do this shit, but that was my group of friends in middle school, right? We all didn't really know better. So anyway, one day a golden opportunity arises. So for some reason we used to hang out 10 minutes before class started, uh, before school started, right? So we'd hang out in the hallway. And Sam this day was late, but his girlfriend was there. And his girlfriend casually, throughout the course of the conversation, lets it slip that Sam has a small penis. I don't remember exactly why she said it, but the point is she said it. And we all look at each other like, you know, fucking hyenas. We're like, holy fucking shit. We got him. Sam has a small penis. His penis is tiny, oh my God. You know, he's always able to turn around, we try to make fun of him, he's not gonna be able to get out of this. So we're all just like so fucking excited. We're like, all right, all right, let's play cool guys, let's make a game plan, you know, let's really try to lure him in and let's fucking nail him. We're finally gonna make Sam cry. So Sam gets there five minutes later, and we're all looking at each other, we're all excited, we're like, fuck, 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 right? And, you know, we, were gonna, we had this, like, elaborate setup, we are gonna troll him, but, you know, we just, and one of my friends is just like, yo, dude, I heard you have a small dick, and we all look at him and start laughing. Now, we'll never forget this moment. Now, if it was anyone else in our group of friends, they would get embarrassed, maybe they would start fighting us, they would get pissed off, they would storm off. Sam didn't do any of that. He frame-controlled his way out of that shit. He looks at us, dead confident, he's like, yeah, of course I do, don't you? We're like, no, dude, we have big dicks, because, yeah, like, who wants a small dick? He's like, oh, well, that, that fucking sucks. We're like, what do you mean it sucks? He's like, yeah, you want to have a big dick. He's like, nah, dude, you don't want to have a big dick. Like, when you play sports, it fucking gets in the way. Like, you know, girls don't like it. Yeah, you guys have a big dick? That's fucking weird. And he literally frame-controlled us in the span of two minutes into going from thinking that, you know, this fucking guy has a small dick to, ah, oh, fuck, we have big dicks, right? About two minutes later, we're all saying, well, you know, my dick is not really this big. Oh, you, you don't know. And then we're like, no, no, his dick is big. My dick is really small, right? We're all competing for who had the smallest dick. And Sam's just sitting there nodding like, <laughs> guys, you guys are all pretending. You probably have big dicks. I actually have the smallest dick here. And you guys know it because my girlfriend said that. We're like, God damn it. Sam comes out on top one more fucking time, right? And, you know, we all had really weak frames back then. I don't think Sam could frame control his way nowadays into thinking that, you know, having small dick is cool. It's also very juvenile, right? Like, who the fuck talks about their dicks? Well, a bunch of middle school gats, right? But it was insane that within the span of like two, three minutes, we thought we went from thinking that Sam is a fucking, we finally got him, he has a small penis, into thinking, God damn it, is my penis too big? Like, and he just fucking frame controlled his way out of that. Now, I have no idea what the fuck this guy's doing now. You know, he might be like a fucking heroin addict or whatever, uh, starring in like some weird fetish small dick porno. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. We lost touch. But this story really shows you how powerful frame control is. And this same thing can be applied when it comes to your interactions with girls and just other people in your life. If you have a good frame, you can get the girl from thinking whatever you're doing is off or not, you know, not accepted to thinking, oh, maybe I'm wrong about my beliefs. You know, maybe I'm wrong about my belief that, you know, I should wait until the third day to have sex. Maybe I'm wrong about my belief that, you know, I shouldn't go home with a guy on the first night. Maybe I'm wrong about my belief that having a threesome with, you know, one of my female best friends is, you know, something that's, you know, risque or, you know, not socially accepted, right? You can frame your control, frame control your way out of literally any social situation if you adopt this kind of 
frame control tactic, especially out of having a small dick, apparently. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and show us that you understand the power of frame control by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe, click the bell for notification. Let us know in the comments if you have any similar stories. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.